Southwesterly. Well, you wouldn't realise it was southwesterly. It's absolutely flat calm out there. But yeah, eh, just had to come out and do it. We've got a new moon tonight going on tomorrow, so that was another reason for it. I was coming out anyway because of that. If if everything was all right, if the temperatures were good and the weather was all right, we were flooded last time. We're not that flooded this time. I'm back on in my swim with the baby. I'm pretty happy. At, so I'm getting to watch the water. The water is flat calm, so. If you're going to see something, you're going to see it today. Sat out in here in the dinghy, just thought I'd get a conversation with everybody and tell you how I'm at. So we're still doing the particle mix, a lot of hemp, a lot of hemp, and a lot of pellet, and KP King Prawn Crafty Catcher uh, boilies are out there as well. So I'm always on the, the Crafty Catcher, using also Crafty Catcher pop ups. Uh, I'm on the garlic garlic pop-up and I'm on the KP coffee pop-up these are them here these are the rigs using the old Ronnie rigs don't know if you can see I'll move it up to a bit closer that's the king crown nice pinky pinky red colour definitely a great one so I'm on that rig there that's just about the length of the boom soft subtle um, Coty Braid onto Bank Taco size 4 Curl Shank, Bank Taco Swivels, Bank Taco Micro Swivels, and Bank Taco on there on this part of it. Uh, I'll, I'm really, I do love the ESP um, Coty Braid, I've been using it for a long time, so I'm on the ESP Coty Braid. Great stuff, and I just wee split shot nipped onto it, and no more, just nip it on slightly, don't nip force it down onto it because you end up nipping into the braided line and you don't want to do that so you just nip it onto the coated stuff and that just gives you enough to get you the slow sinking that I went down on there. It's sandy out there anyway so you could actually have it a wee bit faster but I get used to doing it so it's critically balanced so it just slowly just goes down onto the bottom of the water so it gives you a better. You, 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 you're happier when it's like that, do you know what I mean? So, because it just gently gets onto the bottom and no more, and that's the way I like it. That's always the way I've done the Ronnie's, do you know what I mean? So, I've got that one, and I've got the white, the KP. So, a longer straight shank hook on that one. It's got a little just bit of tungsten there in the middle to sink it a wee bit down and uh, that's got a heavier on to it that one that one that slows down the, that goes down a wee bit faster this one it sinks right down just screwed on back tackle in tackle as usual the ESP stuff back tackle uh, kicker there too so that helps us out there too so definitely Ronnie's all the way for sure and I am using about 3 to 4 kilo of KP boilies, King Crown Crafty Catcher boilies, and I'm using three kilo of pellet, and I'm using about two kilo of hemp, and it's all mixed together. Uh, we've got a lot of snails on here, so I've kept it to the black, black pellet, the hemp too, to give that kind of small snail look, even though the snails are massive in here. Uh, and I've also used the boilies just to subsidise it because I'm with the crafty cash and I'm using the pop up so I put that out to it. I've been using a long long line of bait right out there. I'm 168 yards out. All four rods are out there. I probably see them maybe in the background, I'm not sure if you can. But uh, I'm 
160 yards, all three, all four, sorry, all four rods are straight out. In a row, I just put my H blocks all the way out, four individual H blocks, so I know exactly where I'm baiting, and I just bait them all quite, quite a dense bait area on each single one, and then I do a stringer of small bait right in between the, all four of them, so it kind of gives you a, a, a line of bait right along the bottom, and I've been doing that. I have had a few liners last night again. And I only seem to have had them liners because last, last, about six weeks ago I was out with the fish finder and the GPS and I went out there and I seen a lot on the fish finder, a lot of fish out in the middle, I'm not sure what it was, pipe, green, tench, carp, could be anything, do you know what I mean, it doesn't just actually show you, it shows you the symbol of what the fish are, do you know what I mean, and, uh, and the, for ages I haven't seen anything out in that bottom for ages since I've been out here and like yesterday when I went out baiting up and it was flat cam I went out there and I started to see the fish symbols again showing up there so there was fish out in the middle um, so I've done that today uh, so I was pretty happy with that and I think that's why the alarms were going last night to one at 10 o'clock at night one at 2 o'clock in the morning and uh, another one at 5 this morning just a couple of liners but nothing but for the last couple of weeks there's been zero liners, don't get me wrong, I've been wiped out with the swans. Uh, I had an otter this morning, an otter went by me this morning in between the rods, it was really close in, it actually looked right up in, into the bivvy at me and I was just staring at it, having my cup of tea in the morning and I was like, mm hmm hello. But um, yeah, I've had the king pressure on the rod tip this morning too, gave me a weekend of wake up call as well as usual, do you know what I mean? So it's really nice to, to see all that kind of stuff. But that's just the way it is right now. I'm definitely and just try to hold this boat because we're swinging right round. Uh, so uh, yep, that's where I am right now. Look at all. I'll just swing this boat right round here before we go into the rocks. I was right round there. So yep, that's where we are right now. So, just get this right going. Yep, so that's where we are right now with it all. So, yep, we'll just see how we go. Uh, maybe back next week. In fact, I won't be back next week because I'm going on to another water for a quick four day session. I was supposed to be in France next week, but that's not happening, so I'm pretty raging with that one. Not the France side problems, it's the UK with a two week isolation when you come back from your from your place, so my work won't, well, no work would really allow you to do that, do you know what I mean? So I'm not uh, bothered to be fair, do you know what I mean? It's, I've lost some money out of it, but I'm booked next year, so I'm pretty, I'm alright with that, do you know what I mean? It's one of them things, you lose your money, you lose your money, do you know what I mean? So you just have to keep going on with it. So I'm actually going away next week to Willows, uh, Eric Willows, but I'm going on to the Trout Lake, I think it's the Runs Water, so after I've been born this water for this long a time, I've decided to go there and to do a bit on there, just to get a bend in the old road, all going well, do you know what I mean? So that's my plan, is to go there. And uh, yeah, hopefully get a few carp, do you know what I mean? Because if you've been doing a few months on Castle Lock, you would realise if you ain't got the stamina to stick it out and to know that you're going to go through a hell of a lot of blanks then don't ever, ever even think about coming onto this water. Do you know what I mean? Because next year I will be on this water from March right, probably right through to September again. Maybe one trip in between that just to get a bend in the rod, but I don't Sorry about that guys, I got uh, disconnected there, uh, the Wi-Fi can be a bit dodgy up here when we're using the Wi-Fi for the GoPro, but as I was saying, yeah, I'm going to be here for a long, long time in the next year, so I'm going to be heavily on this water as much as I can, do you know what I mean, uh, by March time onwards, as long as the weather is good, in March I'll start pre-baiting, spots come up every couple of weeks, and then I hope to try April, more of April, uh, uh, April right through uh, uh, next year. As long as we don't get the coronavirus, as I said in the last video, if we don't get the coronavirus, we'll be all right. Uh, locking us all down again. It's still floating about. There's been a, a week and a peak in it, 
but right now again so I'm kind of hoping that doesn't happen so yeah we'll, we'll see what happens but oh, I'm going to be back on this spot I'm going to be baiting up the same area again and we'll just have to take it from then do you know what I mean the, the carp gods may be with us next year a good friend coming on the water next year too I think he's going to try it so we'll see what happens so yeah uh, everyone's taking shape and I will get another wee video up uh, next time I'm here too to tell you how I'm getting on and I'll make another wee video of my trip away down south uh, next week uh, the 24th of September 2020 I go to that so that's only a few weeks um, week away a week away and I'll be away to that so I'm looking forward to going there and get a bend in the road as I said so yep take it easy folk and uh, catch you later yeah Don't lie to me about your turns, about falling in love What makes you happy, so what makes me drown But what you want and what makes you bad I'm giving a chance to make things right But just be honest for once in a while It was a part of a silly chunk Where it isn't fun, it comes down the more Don't lie to me, don't lie to me About your turns, about falling in love What makes you happy, so what makes you drown But what you want and what makes you bad I'm giving a chance to make things right But just be honest for 